Hey everybody, Frank here. Today I want to show you a new method of wireless redstone I invented which uses B boxes and can instantly send a signal across any distance. So the way this works is we have our B box that sends the signal right here and over here we have the receiving B box. So when we break the first B box over there, this B will enter this the receiving B box they'll step off the pressure plate and retract the piston activating a beacon right here. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. So we're breaking this B box and we'll see the beacon activate just like that. So this can work across any distance. Uh, the chunks in between don't need to be loaded, only the B boxes need to be loaded in. So I have one set up very far away, a thousand blocks. We have a chunk loader right here and an ender porter. Uh, so as soon as I break the signaling box, this one will activate and will be teleported all the way over here. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. And just like that. So this is really simple to set up. Uh, all you need is two boxes, a B, and uh, a way to get that B all the way across. So the only downside is it's one time use, but uh, it can be set up multiple times, it can be redone, but you'll have to manually set it up each time. So to start, you place down a B box, you put down a B, you gotta wait for it to be either night or for it to start raining, so the B will go into the box. Now that the B's in the box, you gotta wait for it to leave, so we'll set it to day. It's gonna take a minute for it to leave, but as soon as it does, we're going to take it over to that flower, get it pollinated, and we're going to take it over to that receiving bee box. In the meantime, we'll get this set up to receive the bee. So we'll open that up over there, and that's all you really need to do. So we're going to go back, and hopefully this bee will pop out any second now. We'll have to wait a bit. I might cut this part. Oh, there we go. Alright. So we're going to take him over to the flower. He's going to do his little dance, he's going to get pollinated. And the reason this works is once a bee enters a bee box, they are bound to that box. And they always want to return to it set as their home. And they only enter the box if it's nighttime, if it's raining, or if they're pollinated. So he just got pollinated and he wants to return to the box, but we're not going to let him. Instead, we're going to drag him all the way down here to the receiving box. And he won't enter this new box because he already has a box set as his home. So we'll drag him down. And stick him into the chamber right here. Alright, so now... It's set, it's activated, it's ready to receive the signal. The bee is sitting on the pressure plate. We have the beacon covered up. You go back here, you break that, beacon will light up, and that's how you make instant wireless redstone using bee boxes. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.